All right, guys, so welcome back to the channel. I'm here to help y'all again. So we're working on a 2010 Cadillac SRX. It's a 3.0 engine. The water neck coolant, it's a water coolant neck, which is this one here. It broke. It broke and it's leaking. So by any chance if your car is leaking and you keep putting water inside the um, inside the reservoir and for some reason it's not it's not filling up you got a leak a water leak and your car is overheating you might want to check this little water neck out this here is just clips on guys it just clips on you push in and it just clips on you got to pry on it here here and here to get it to uh to take it off so we're, we're gonna be replacing this and we're gonna see how it goes see if that fixes the problem here's the water here's the uh part number yeah okay so what you want to do is grab a little scuffer like this here maybe a wire brush or a brillo pad or something and just stick it down in here and you want to scuff it up and clean it up Que limpiarlo bien para que entra mm -hmm. <clears throat> para que no liquea. and so it doesn't leak as well when you put it in with the new seal. Mm -hmm. So, like I showed y'all, here's the part number from O'Reilly's. And here's the part. So if you have any trouble with your reservoir, just cons just constantly filling it up and it's not filling up, you might want to look at you might want to look into this. So what they want to do, they want to lube it up with a little bit of grease, so it'll slide on in. I'll go ahead and put it on here first. Alright, and then... Just like that, it clips on. And once it clips on with these three little clips, here's the old one, just a little. It just clips on from, with this one, this one, and this one. You just push it up, just push it in. It just clip on and then clip on and clip off. Easy. So now all you have to do is get the clamp. Takes it where it belongs. Right there. And that's it, guys. I didn't show you how to take it off, but kind of explain how to do it. Just clip on and clip off. Clean the surface. Throw a little grease around the oil ring. And just pop it back in place real carefully. And you should be all right. But the... It was leaking from here down and it was coming out from that corner from that side down into the uh, top of the transmission. Ojalá que ese es el problema. Mm -hmm. okay, so we changed that out and she has another it has another problem so this one was bad this one was it was leaking from there you see it leaking from there so it's it, it, this check on this this hose here it, they, they get uh real hot and they seem to break so this one here it, it just clips on here it just clips on so you push this to the side and it unclips it and then you pull right out 
but um this one broke off from here that's where it connects to here so we're gonna need to get this hose so somehow some way i'm gonna i'm gonna have to make it work with this hose we can get this to get on there put a clamp and just get it to connect with the other hose over here then we'll be should be okay but until then guys um it's you will always want to check on this water neck because this water necks made out of plastic they get hot they get brittle they <clears> break <throat> the seal starts leaking and you would you can tell because it'll it'll, it'll, it'll it'll start seeing brown spots here if you look down here you start seeing brown spots like water stains and um that's how you know if it's leaking so this video helped out in any way guys yeah uh, like the video comment subscribe and we'll see you on the next one peace out